I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Up Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center to talk to you tonight about spread eagles. Spread eagles are a movement in skating that requires you to have your heels together, your toes pointed out, and your legs spread. It's a good one, I promise. But first, I need you to like, subscribe, share, and all that business so I can keep bringing you more videos with the help of Xavier. All right, let's just start at the beginning. What is a spread eagle? Boom, boom, spread them. That's your spread eagle. It looks like this. This is an inside edge spread eagle. What's cool about spread eagles is they can lead into a two foot spin. You can do lots of stuff with the spread eagle, but I am here to show you the mechanics, get you into flow, and then it's your job to be creative about it. Let's start from the beginning. Spread eagles are kind of difficult because it does require you to skate on one foot, change directions, and hold. That's where you're going to run into difficulties. So let's take it from kind of a standstill position. I'm going to start with a T, T push. All right. I'm going to push off, just get a little bit of speed and then set my foot down. When I set my foot down, if that is challenging for you, I want you to bend your knees immediately. So it looks like this. You're going to push off, rotate a bit, sit it down, and then bend your knees and try to hold in that position, bend your knees, okay? When you do a real spread eagle, however, you're going to push off and straighten up as much as you can. So when we do our beginner style, again, we're just going to push off with a T start. I want you to get your push from your back foot and your weight is going to be on your front foot. So weight's on the front. Keep this foot low, right near the ground. And then I want you to start rotating your upper body just a bit. So we're gonna start off like this. Push, rotate your upper body a bit and set your foot down. That means that your head needs to rotate a bit. Your shoulder needs to rotate a bit. It's a bit to open this hip up and help you get that turnout. Alrighty, let's do it. I might can do it with the other foot. How about that? Got my right foot in front. I rotate my upper body. Pick up this foot just a bit. Line up those heels. Now, if we're going to do our spread eagle with some speed, we can't necessarily just do it from a push off because I can only get so much speed before I go into my spread eagle and try to hold it. So let's do it with some speed. And you're going to use a little bit of a pivot. So you're going to go forward. I need you to, let me do it this way. Stay right there. I have my right foot forward, weights on the left foot. I'm going to lift my toe, pull it to the back, set it down into a spread eagle. Like this. And hold. Weights on the back foot, toe is up, pivot out, set it down. And hold your spread eagle one more time. important when we're doing a spread eagle. Your snack area, as always, needs to be super tight. Your shoulders need to be square over your hips and your arms are extended. Again, how this looks aesthetically to you is just me doing it proper. It's your job to make it into something else later on. But when we are training to do this, arms out one foot in front as you get speed going, lift that toe so your foot can glide out. Once you hit heel to heel, 
bend your knees or straighten up get your arms out snack area tight arch your back all right one more time i'm going to show all righty here we go i got one foot in front arms are in the back in front here i lift up my toe glide around set them down hold it up Tuck in those snacks, stick out your chest, chin up, try to hold it into that position. You see these circles on the floor that we have that almost every single week? These can be really helpful. So if I do it on this, and then I'm gonna track, hopefully right on the line. All righty, so hey skaters, I would love it. If you sent me your best video of you trying your spread eagle, I get a lot of people who send me messages and say, you know, I watched your video and I tried to do it and I'm having trouble with this or that. And I just tell them, send me a video of what you're doing and I'll send you a video back of what you're not doing right or what you're doing right. I don't know. I haven't seen your video yet, but feel free to send them to me. Okay. All righty, you guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and all that jazz. And I'll see you next week where we will do something even more interesting than the spread eagle. Go practice.